Mr. Sunshine? And how are we feeling today? You are the only person who calls me Jack. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have a visual on the anomaly. It seems to be growing more unstable. Oh my god. Incoming, Jack! Olivia, everything is going to be fine. <coughs> are you injured? <coughs> what the hell is this? I'm called Apollo. I mean you're not harm. Ready to execute FTL job. His digital cortex is showing minimal synapse activity. Jack? I think he can hear me. I wish you had told me sooner that you were trying to repair him. I might have been more of a help. Just keep the connection stable. There, you see? Liv. Now here's the sight for sore eyes. It's me! Jack! Good or Reese. Sunshine. You can call me Reese. Do you want to pull my finger? I don't know, Captain. Hello and welcome back to Lone Echo 2. Finally, after all the waiting, it's finally time to jump in to Lone Echo 2. Lone Echo 1 was one of my favourite games of all time in VR. Not only does it look stunning, but it plays amazingly. It's a heavy dialogue game, it's story driven, it's, oh, it's everything I want out of a VR game. And now we finally have the second part. Uh, I will be doing a full playthrough of this, so make sure that you're around on your channel. And make sure you have your notifications on, and uh, let's begin. New game. The unit appears disoriented. You scared me. I was about to do my classic pull my finger joke, and you scared her. Do you want to pull my? Shush. Go on, Jack. Tell her you're all right. I'm fully functional. I think so. I think so. Do you want to pull my finger? I'm a confused. I don't doubt it. You've been That's a joke. ever since our little time jump on the Astraea. Oh god. Maybe we should run through his calibration program. I just spent the past three months shush. patching him up. I think I made shush, a mistake. Shush, Liv. Shush, shush, now. Only tickle, human. tickle. Well, how about we ask him? Yeah, ask me. What do you think, Jack? I am Jack. Do you want to run your calibration program? Absolutely not. That won't be necessary. I don't want to. Sorry, Juno. He's not interested. I'm not. An android willing to blatantly disregard protocol. Yep. I wonder where he learned that. Mexico. It is a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> well, go on then. I don't like this new one. It's time we got him out of there. Yeah, get me I'm out. I'm not sure I'm comfortable letting an untested android loose in the habitat. Uh huh. Who are you? Forgive me, but who are you? Who are you? My name is Juno. A multifunctional, <clears throat> fully transient artificial intelligence. Nice. I have been assigned as your caretaker. That's one word for it. Cool. Captain, please, I... Oh. Oh, well, she's gone. <laughs> oh, she's back. What's that? What was that? What was that? Just a minor fluctuation in the power grid. Mm -hmm. Not to worry. That's the fourth time just this morning. I assure you, Captain, it's Hello. nothing to be concerned about. Oh. I'll be right back. You're Where not... She goes? She's not telling us the whole story, is she? Come on. Let's get you out of that contraption. All right. There oh. we are. Nearly caught my chin. Try and take it slow. Oh, I'll take it You've slow. Been offline for nearly four months. I'll take it really slow. Oh, push the wrong button. <laughs> it feels good. Oh, it feels too good. Back I go. Oh god, it feels so good. Look at my little leggies. <laughs> Wee. Give it some time. Liv. There might still be a few kinks to work out. Hold my hand, Livy. Dance okay, with me, so darling. Physically, you seem to be in order. I'm fine. But I know you've probably got a few questions. I mean, I've definitely I got do some with of those. Some catching up, yes. I got some yeah. questions. Ooh, ooh. I got Ask some questions. Like. Boo, boo. Um. Or, if you'd rather, I can give you a quick tour of our new home. Whatever you want to do. What's the mean? Ow! Hey! Don't push me away. I grabbed you by the face, you stinky stinker. I was trying to get close. Fine, we'll do it like this. Live. Stop. There's no rush. No, no, Take there is the a rush. I'm trying Just to ask you a question. What's the. What? what? Just, just stop pushing me away, Liv. Tell me. What's the meaning of life, Liv? What is it? Is it to pull my finger? You should pull my finger. Come on. 
You want to pull my finger, I can tell. <laughs> Oh yes, god, Jack. it's been good to see you. Good to see you, Liv. Good to see you. Uh, I'm ready. Let's Thanks go. Thanks for waiting. Not a problem. Thank Shall you we? for waiting for me. I, I just had to do that joke one last time. What is this? So woohoo! Oh god. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh. Uh, excuse me, but. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, that's so cool. I swear sometimes it feels like this place is just a hair's breadth. It's, it's just a broken society that we live in, Liv. <laughs> it's a broken society that we live in. Where exactly are we? Where are we? We're on a space station orbiting Saturn. That sounds familiar. It does sound familiar. Well, not our own space, obviously. After we made our jump to the future, we were picked up off the Astraea and brought here and placed in isolation. We were in isolation. Indeed. Juno says it's standard procedure. Standard procedure. As if there is such a thing for time travel. Nonsense, what I said is. Ah, there we go. Honestly, oh, there we go. I wish I knew more about this place. But Juno's not exactly been forthcoming with the details. Hey, maybe now that I've got you back, we can work on getting some answers. Alright, sounds good to me. Oof. You just shot right past me there, Liv. I opened the door. I didn't, I didn't. And here we have the luxury suite. It's a far cry from my old room on the Kronos, but I think I've managed to spruce it up a bit. I think it's what nice. Think? It's it's a mess, let's be honest. Um, you appear to be settling in well enough. Yes. Not much choice, really. Ow! <laughs> I mean, it's not as though we can just hop a charter back to the 22nd century. True, 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 true. Juno's let me co-opt a few cargo drones to dig through what's left of the Kronos. Yeah. The Kronos 2 is still out there. Tell me I more. I mean, I can't be sure, but yeah. Okay. I think there are at least one or two sections that managed to stay in orbit after all these years. Plus, there was quite a bit of debris that got pulled into the future with us. Which is how you made me, right? That's a good thing, too. Otherwise, I'd never have found all the parts I needed to fix you. Well, I'm bloody glad that you did. Do I need to go in here, or can we just, can we rock on? You really don't know what happened to me. Not for certain. Though my current running theory is that your shell tried to self-destruct. Self-destruct? Well, I'm thinking it was some sort of latent security protocol, meant to fry all your systems in case you ever got cut off from the Kronos 2's network. Atlas protecting their investment. Classic. I was not aware of any such protocol. Well, either way, reconstructing your shell seems to have removed that particular feature from your architecture. Good. You cut your strings, so to speak. I once was a wooden boy and now I'm not a wooden boy. You know how it is. You love the song, right? Sorry. Hang on, what? Olivia? I've got to say, I don't think I've ever been more relieved to see you. Oh, that's really kind. If there's anything more you want to know, just ask and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks, and buddy. And whenever you're ready, we can move on. Let's just oh. move on. Moving on, are we? Yeah. I'm good. Let's go. The common room's just through here. Ah, uh, oh God, no, no, Liv, I was going to grab your foot for a free ride. Not like that, you weirdo. Okay, okay. We're going for a journey. Oh, not into there. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love the interactions. Our new home. No, can't go on that. Captain Ralph? It's beautiful. Oh, do you know? There you are. We were beginning to worry. Somehow I doubt that. I thought you'd like to know. We have another cargo drone inbound. How nice. long? A few minutes. Maybe more. Ah, perfect. So we have some time then. If you'd like, Jack, go on and have a look around. I mean, I can. If you really want me to. Do you want me to, Liv? I think you want me to. Oh, nice. Cup of coffee. Can I do that as well? Ah, I wanted to. Oh, hey, sorry about that. So, what's the story? Do you know? <clears throat> what is the Did story? Did you work out what was causing those power fluctuations or not? Yeah. As a matter Tell of me fact, and live. I did. So we won't have any more problems then. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Brilliant. Mm, classic, eh? Do we have an update on the drone? I'm sure it won't be much longer. This thing looks Actually, like it's malfunctioning. Since we're here, there's something I want to show you. 
Go on, Em. Do you remember when the Astraea first arrived and I thought it was an alien ship? I do. But it wasn't. It was a human ship from the future. This future. Right, but here's the thing. Look at this AI core from the Astraea. I've been on this station for a while and I can find nothing. Not a single piece of tech compatible with this core. Interesting. Almost as if it doesn't belong here. Well, then it most that likely doesn't. Odd. That's far from the only mystery I'm This one's over here again. Moment. Listening in. You know, Juno is not going to be of any help. No. Nope. I wish I could assist you, Captain, but I'm afraid my directives forbid me from doing so. See what I mean? I do. So it's up to us to go digging round for answers on our own. Well, let's do that. Here is where I'd like to start. Psychology. <laughs> Much like the one we had back home on the Kronos. Mohalo. One small difference. What? Which is? It doesn't work. The display emitter's shot. If we can replace the emitter, get this thing working, we might be able to access the facility's mainframe. Okay. That sounds interesting. I assume you've already checked for a spare emitter? More than a few times. No luck. Not to worry. I've got a friend looking out for a replacement. A friend? He'll be along shortly with one of the cargo drones. Okay. Captain Rhodes, speaking of the cargo drone. Is it on approach? It is, yes. Should we go? We need you to open the outer door so the cargo drone can dock with the ham. Cool. Jack, would you mind terribly? I am all sorts of down for that. Um, not at not all. Not at all. Splendid. Where do I... Where am I going? Up there? The controls are up here. Ah! Look! Uh. Outer door opening. Thanks. I'm heading up. This place is a bloody mess. What's this? An anchor battery? Liv? Where did she go? Look. There's oh. the Astraea. Well, what's left of it oh, anyway? Oh, wow, holy crap. What happened to the four section? Must have broken off when we made the jump. Wow. Stayed in the past. Yeah, I'm guessing so. <sighs> Don't suppose we'll ever manage to make it back. Uh, I'd very much doubt it. We're, we're kind of stranded here now, love. Ah, here comes our little friend now. Look familiar? Hello. <gasps> oh, it does look familiar. That looks like the CubeSat I extracted from our old comms network. P09-CRM. <laughs> Hello. Popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. It's about time. Nice. We're starting to think you've been lost. You call him Popcorn. Yeah. Well, it's certainly better than P09-CRM. Don't you think, Echo One? Fair point. Fair. So, did you find an emitter? And yes! It's going to work this time? Yes! Bzz, bing! Ah ha I have the very thing that we needed. Scan this baby up. That's it, Jack. This is exactly what we needed. Shall I run decontamination? Yes, please. I got it. Nice work, Popcorn. Oh, that's, that's locked at the moment. Ah! Let's get that emitter down to the hollow table. Let's do that. Bloop. Oh, jeez. That didn't work, did it? Boom. We did it. Fives? Emitter installed. I always ask for a high five. You never do it. Even in the whole of our first adventure. Oh, this takes me back, Liv. Right, just give me a tick. Hmm, how's that? See anything up there? Yep, that looks good. Oops. I'm seeing an image, but it's... Very glitchy. glitchy. Very right, glitchy. Give me a Bollocks. Hey, 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 language. Okay, if I'm reading these schematics right, the only way we're going to sort this out is by doing a complete master reset. Then do it, milady. A number of steps involved. Okay. I'm gonna need your help here. What we what do you want me to do? Okay. You should be seeing a keypad up there. I do, I see it. 
In order to start the reset process, you'll need a specific command code. Which is? Try 0915. 0915. Confirmed. Code accepted. Oh. Hang on. The system is requesting I use a slider to confirm. But I it can't. Is, however, locked. It's locked off, Liv. All right, I can unlock it, but this step requires a bit of coordination. Okay. I'll need to disconnect the circuit at the same time you confirm the reset. Ready? You're going to count down? Three. Yes. Three. On three. One. Two. two three. three. Go. Woo! Teamwork, Liv. Teamwork. <laughs> um, hey, Popcorn. So. You alright? How'd that work out? I'm detecting an increased amount of hydrocarbon particles in our vicinity. Is something burning? Oh, shit. What shit. is burning? Ow, that's hot. Liv? Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to need another power coupling. What's that Should look like? There be a replacement kicking around here somewhere. Power you coupling. Could it down for me. Uh, Any idea where yeah. to start? I'm sure there's a spare power coupling hanging around close by. Aha! Dude, I didn't realise that these drawers opened, so you'll have to forgive me on that one, Liv. Because I didn't realise that they opened. Here you go. Here you are. Thanks, Jack. You're more than Just welcome. Give me a sec. You can also thank Popcorn, because Popcorn did it as well. Didn't you, little buddy? Yeah. Beep, boop, beep. Yeah! Give me some good news. I'm going to nick this coffee Sorry, as well. Captain. I'm afraid it's a lost cause. Oh. No, it isn't. Hold on. No, it isn't. It worked. You're a liar. More or less. More or less. You're a liar. The image is somewhat distorted. Well, that won't do. <laughs> Hang on. How's that? Better? Looks yes, bloody good to me. Carbon Station Network Access Client. Carbon Habitat Station. Nice. Okay. Habitat. Mainframe connection established. Synchronizing control devices. Okay, are these all the different places Liv, we're going to visit? You're beeping. What does that mean? Personal user interface synchronized. Nice! Here we are. Habitat A. Okay. Those icons. That That's us. That's us, right? Yeah. I was right. We're the only ones here. Yes, well, this has all been terribly enlightening. Shall we move on? Okay, so there's no one else in the hab. But what about the rest of the station? Yeah, cheap, cheap checking. This is everything. There's no one. This image represents all of Chiron Station. Right, let's see who else is on board. Yeah, quickly. Jack, you mind taking a look at the map while I keep searching on here? No, 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 no. Of course. We've got Can some I... questions that need answering. I'm looking. Research facility. No life force here, dude. Occupant. No occupants zero. Research wing. There's nothing. Okay. Manufacturing. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to bet that there's no one here full stop, Liv. Ooh. This part of the facility appears to be under construction. Under construction, still no one near there. Well, no you waiting. would. That's odd. Anything here? Damn, this is so cool looking. Every branch of the station connects to this structure here, the transit hub. Yeah, there's still nothing. The Jenny. Still no signs of any crew. Or anyone at all, really. Oh, that's cool looking. Why don't you notice if you like the built-in AI, man? Still no still no one. The station's generator is deserted as well. Not looking good. You see that readout? Running a little hot, wouldn't you say? Indeed. That would explain the power fluctuations we've been experiencing. Pretty good bet. So maybe we head up there and fix it, or what? No signal. Ooh. This one could have people in it. We're not receiving any signal from the other habitat. That's not a good sign. 
there was anyone not. left, the other habitat would be where I'd expect to find them. There's no one. Hey, the station's popcorn. deserted. According to this, <clears throat> you're alone. Juno, what the hell? Where's the crew? Technically, I never said there was a crew on this station. So we're alone here. I didn't say that either. Get it. I'm not going round in circles with you again. There's got to be something else. Captain Wells. Juno, unless you're about to explain to me exactly what the hell's going on, I would keep quiet. Yeah, shut up, okay? She only trusts me and popcorn. I think I might have hit upon something here. This is a real friend. He's it's physical. Like priority message on a loop. Priority alert. Containment protocols breached. Multiple branch sectors compromised. Oh snap. General evacuation order has been issued. Oh dear. Evacuation order. Proceed immediately to your designated lifeboats. Message will repeat in one minute. All right, Juno. Start talking. Captain Rhodes, I assure you, there is no need for concern. Tell us what the hell is go. Snap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Uh oh. I think we need to evacuate. What was that? That was an electrical malfunction. Okay, this is a big issue. You mean one of those electrical malfunctions you told us not to worry about? Yeah. No. Okay, yes, but this is different. Different how? Yeah, explain? That last energy spike overloaded one of our substations. The house power grid is collapsing. How do we stop it? We can't. At least not from here. So we're just supposed to sit here and do nothing? What? Juno. You activate right, telling us stuff, carefully. bruh. I may only have a few moments before we lose contact. Jack, I'm unlocking your reactive cutter. There's an emergency release on the door leading out of here. You can use your cutter to gain access. Okay. You still have some time before the hab becomes unsafe. Make your way to the terminal. There should be a tram there that will take you to Juno? Juno, acknowledge. Do you know what? contact. Doesn't even matter. You Let's know, just get out of here. I always thought I'd enjoy this moment a bit more. Yeah, me too. Liz. Perhaps we should... Get the hell out of here. Yeah. So a lot of questions that need answering, and sticking around here is not going to help us. Absolutely not. Plus so. life support is failing. Uh, yeah, plus that. Which, what do I need to cut with this then? This must be the emergency release here. Behind this panel on the door. Yep. I'll take a look. One. Two. Three. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four. Ah. Nice, that did it. Here, help me pull it open. Yeah, Can I you help. take that side. Oof. Nice, I've got mine open. Oh, snap. This is kind of Jack, intense, isn't it? Hold on. What? Before we go out there... Yeah? Listen. That shell you're in now... That's the only one of you there is. If something happens to you out there, if you get shut down... It's over. It. You're gone. Oh, that sucks. Um... I hadn't really considered that. Well, you've never had to before. So I die basically You'll if I'm be dead. Fine. Just try and remember what I said, okay? Don't die. All right, Liv. But you you've got the same situation, I don't forget. If you die, you're also dead forever. Well, so don't worry. Here we go. Let's just do it. Come on. Death is inevitable. At oh, least God. lighting still seems to be active. Yep. Ooh, hello. Ugh. Oh, okay. This way? Liv? Power's still up in this area. I doubt that will last. We should keep moving. Sign above the door says, to tram. That's where we're headed. Come in. Let's go. Which way are we going, Liv? We keep going. Whoever built this place 
initializing scan. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on? Live! Initializing continue. Live! What's I'm happening? Right. What the yeah, hell is happening, I'm Liv? Okay, I mean, that did just probably shave a couple of years off my lifespan, but. But yeah, it's pretty scary. Let's hope not. What the hell was that? Carry me. Yeah, what the hell was that? Security Most likely measure. Some form of security measure. Can't that access must not that. Work too well if we're tripping it on the way out. It doesn't appear to be working at all anymore. No, it doesn't. How do we get through here then? Is there another panel? Doors sealed. Well, what we the hell? Must have triggered some kind of lockdown procedure. So what is the plan, baby? Seeing any sort of emergency. Oops. Emergency release or access panel? No. I'm not seeing one either, so let's go and see what these do. Could be some sort of override or... I don't know. Scanner, scanner, scanner. Ahaha! Alright, Popcorn. You've got all the answers, my dude. How do I get through there? Liv, up here. There's a control room. Can I break the glass? No. If there's a way to get the door open, I expect that is where we'll find it. Yeah, for real. Yes, now we just have to find a way inside. And how are we going to do that? Popcorn, activate. How? Goodness. All the doors are locked. Yes, exactly. This, this damn contraption. Containment protocol. Please proceed to the infirmary for further instructions. Oh. Okay. Good enough. Live. Yeah. Well done for kicking out. stuff. It always fixes things. Have you seen the Back to the Future? When you hit the steering wheel and it makes the car go faster. An infirmary. Right next to security. Yeah. Strange. Interesting. You Why know, this there? This place looks familiar. Let's have a look around. I mean, don't really need to, do we? Do we? Oh, unlock panel. Don't need to. Okay. Weehoo! Why have medical beds in such close proximity to security and the habitat? It could be a few of the occupants were immunocompromised. Perhaps. Maybe. Anyway, keep looking. We need to find a way into that control room. Ha 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 ha! Door. There's a small door over here. Yeah, can we go Probably through this one? Access point for maintenance. Could give us a way into the control room. Let's see if we can find a way to get it open. One, two, three, four. Wow! Nice. Ooh, 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 got a hit my face. I found a way to access the maintenance ducts. Nice work. We have to hold it. But the controls are faulty. The access way won't stay open long enough for me to get inside. Scoot over, maybe I can hold it open for you. Yeah, nice. Let's go. Come on. Popcorn, you coming with me, brother? Alright, alright, alright. Calm down, calm down. Jesus. Didn't see much light up there, by the way. Great news. I assume my headlamp still works. Should do. Just press the switch on either side of your head. Head on up. Oh God, why is this so intense? What do you see? Very little. I yeah. suspect these ducks have not been accessed in quite some time. See if you can find a path to the control room. I'm gonna do my best, boob. My money's on this way, right? Ow. Gotta be this way. Come on. I know maths and science. This has got to be the way. There has to be a way to get into the control room. There is. I think we may be coming up on the control room. Stand What's by. this thing? Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Good God. Can you access this, little Jimmy? 
Little popcorn man. There's some grating blocking access to the control room. Uh, I might be able to cut through. Do it. Not like anyone's gonna notice. Ah, oh, dude. Hell's yes. Bonky bonky. Boinky boinky. Oh wow. Jack, over here. Hey Liv. See anything resembling door controls up there? I certainly Give me do. A moment to investigate. Keypad. Zero nine eight seven. There is a keypad here, but I don't know the access code. Do you think there could be any chance someone's gone and left it written down somewhere nearby? I mean, would sincerely doubt it. <laughs> do people really do that? Happens a lot more often than you might think. Does it, though? grossly negligent. I wouldn't say grossly. Pretty negligent. You've done it before, haven't you? Look, we're burning oxygen here. Go on, let's see what else you can find. Can I pop this in there? Uh. Recharging. Nice. I'm thinking it might have the passcode. I would say so. might still be salvageable. Without your scanner, you'll need popcorn to extract the data. Popcorn, popcorn activate. You can help him out there, yeah? Go. Extract. Seems he might have hit upon something. Yes? I think he just passed an objective <laughs> to my own computer. Bossy, aren't you? Nice. Popcorn has passed me the security code. One four five one. Well, maybe one, we can use it to get four, these doors open. Five, one. Access. Heck yes. That did it. Security's lifted. Come on out of there. I'll meet you in the next corridor. I will. On our way. Come on, popcorn. Let's go. I don't need you. Get out of my face. Great, <laughs> right, well done in there. Thank you. Yes, yes, you too. Where are we going, Liv? Take me. Uh, Liv, is so damn rude sometimes, man. When she kicks me off like that, I'm just trying to get a free ride, you know? We. Okay. Alright. Well, there's actually a tram here. I was starting to worry... Captain Rhodes, can you hear me? Juno? Yes. Juno, your signal is very faint. Very faint. The power grid is continuing to collapse. In order to depart, two problems need to be resolved. One, the tram is disengaged from the transit rail line. The okay. second issue is that the exit airlock has been damaged. I'm uploading the schematics for the tram station to the captain's risk mm -hmm. Juno. Okay. Well, Juno's ah, gone. Delightful. She uploaded the tram schematics. Hmm. These look um familiar. A bit in depth. <laughs> right, let's see. Moving tram from maintenance rail to transit rail. See rail cross index walkthrough, which is ah, inaccessible without peak clearance. Lovely. Great. Or popcorn can just point out the rail lines. Also wax. Let's go. Wash. Not entirely sure, but I believe that's popcorn speak for this is the ah. maintenance rail. Okay. And this is obviously the transit rail. The one that actually goes somewhere. So we'll need to get so, the tram over to it. How the hell she are we doing that? also mentioned the tram airlock is no longer functional. Right. That's the other issue. Here, let's multitask. I'll take a look at the airlock while you tackle the tram. Right. Divide and conquer. Shabla! Well, at least one of those. What's first? Well, these instructions are somewhat dense. It mentions aligning four stasis projectors alongside the tram. It's fine, I'm kind of, I think I'm actually figuring this out without even your help. Uh, all projectors locked in place. Excellent. It also mentions We're good. control panel should be located below the tram. I'm on it. Below the tram. Cool. It's a lot of wriggling and wiggling and squiggly noises. Tram released. Nice. Okay, nice work. Please don't squash me. 
Please don't squash Let's me. See Looks like the next step is moving the tram itself over. It mentions a tram control console on the boarding platform. Oh, I, I saw that. Keep an eye out. Yeah. Boing. This thing? No? The tram line appears to lead to a central transit hub. Let's hope it has functioning life support. That's this, I give it reasonable odds. No, oh, this thing's fried, dude. Liv, this console has been damaged. Well, shit. Affirmative. Suggestions? Maybe see if there's a manual control that can be used instead. This thing. I found a sealed auxiliary panel. Yep, yeah, come on. It's worth a look. Let's cut it open. I've located a control handle. Get out of the way. Just about wrapped up these airlock repairs. Oh. How are things looking on your end? I'm nearly, nearly there. As well. Nearly there, darling. Nearly there. The trams now aligned underneath the transit rail. Should be good to go. Can we go in the top of it or what? Iron Station, Rapid Transit Online. Now boarding. Shall we? Yeah. Shoo. Ah! The, stop kicking me off. I'm on. Come on, Popcorn. There's a control panel in the front. Mind doing the honors? Yeah, I'm doing it. Destination set. Please prepare for departure. Let's go! Hold on to something, Jack. Your hand. Departing for transit hub in three. Oh. Two. One. So mean. You all right, popcorn? Hold on to your butt cakes. I'm scared. Are you scared? Airlock cycle complete. For your safety, please hold on. Accelerating to transit speed in three, two, one. And there we have it, the first episode of Lone Echo 2. I have to say personally, I freaking loved every single second of this. Thank you for joining me. If you're interested in seeing part two, subscribe, smash like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. So far, I have to say, it's an absolute freaking pleasure to be back. Can't wait for episode two. Bye-bye.